Good morning. Good morning. We're in the ferry queue at um, Uig on Skye, ready to catch the Calmac ferry, the MV Hebridean. Uh, I think that's what it's called. I isn't think it? so, yeah. Uh, like that, across anyway. to um, Loch Maddy on North Uist. Journey time of about two hours. Uh, it's a bit grim and uh, grey in the sky. Quite a bit of Scots mist about this morning. But the uh, sea is calm. The sea is calm. Thank goodness. Yeah. So we pulled up in the queue and had some breakfast and. Uh, the dog's sort of just about woke up. She wondered what on earth was happening this morning. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll we'll get on the boat and uh, show you around and um, sort of try and give you an insight as to what it's like on Calmac ferries. We've done a few of these now. Um, certainly, uh, they come in all shapes and sizes yep. depending on the size of islands. In fact, we've been on some that's so small we you couldn't get a vehicle on. We had to go on the bikes, and then some that's quite big, obviously, like this one. Uh, so we'll talk to you about the differences if you've not been on one before. Um, the uh, I want to give you a shout out always to the staff at Calmac. They're always fantastic. Yeah, it doesn't are. matter whether you're talking to them on the booking lines yeah. or whether you turn up on the um, on, on the on the key side. They'll help you get on and off. And if it's the first time you've been on and you're a bit nervous about a motor on or a caravan, they will help you. Mm. They really are good guys. And you get a sense, I don't know this for certain, but you get a sense that they must enjoy working for Calmac because they do put good humour and genuine... Mm. Uh, desire to help yeah. you. So. They do go above and beyond giving you the information that you need and it's they are yeah. uh, we've been nothing but impressed with them on all the routes that we've taken so. Well we yeah. love those guys and uh, a big shout out to those boys and girls because they do uh, they do a cracking job. So we're going to uh, push on and uh, we'll see you on deck.
that was a decent crossing about 1 hour 45 uh, quite a good dog area uh, for the animals on this boat uh, better than some uh, not so good uh, external viewing platforms on the MV Hebridean but uh, is it the MV Hebrides? MV Hebrides I think MV Hebrides yeah. but, uh, yeah. but nevertheless quite a comfortable seating area nice for the dogs and um, yeah it was alright it's good so we're just waiting now with the cold back to the vehicles we're back on the car deck um, waiting for um, the doors to open so just turn you around show you what we can see to the front it. I think we've got some lorries behind us and if I show you perhaps in the wing mirror you'll see we've got lorries all along to the right of us um, just feel a little bit um, as if you're packed in like sardines but these lorries have all, are all locked down and uh, it's not a super problem at all really to be fair like I said earlier on I've got absolute confidence in these Calmac guys they do, they do know what they're doing so all should be good
So after a really smooth uh, journey on the ferry, yeah. I don't know, 20 minutes drive? Yeah, something like that, not much more than that, yeah. Across to our first uh, campsite, which is Bar Ranald. And um, it's, we'll show you around in a little while, but it's quite impressive, isn't it? It's got it's, like a... Yeah, really nice. Real rural, yeah. fresh feel about yeah. it. Great, uh, great views and near to two beaches. So we'll yeah. be exploring those this afternoon. Yeah, we'll take you with us, hopefully. So um, we'll push on. Good morning and welcome to North Uist. It's on the Outer Hebrides and we're on the northwest coast up at uh, Bar Arnold's campsite. So follow me, I'll give you a little bit of a guided tour. If I spin the camera round, you'll be able to see the access road. Now it does look quite narrow, but I have to say there are passing places all the way. And this is a side road off the main 867 that runs all the way around the island. And as I pan round, you'll be able to see the entrance to the site. It's lit up with, uh, lit up, there's um, flags and it's all purple. So you can make sure that you're actually in the right place. So as I turn round, this is for me the best bit about this site, or one of the best bits, because this is a really lovely place. Is it literally 30 seconds from the entrance to the site, you get a really lovely view. Forgive the wind, I've seen, tried to do this uh, site review in about three different... <laughs> in rain, wind and everything else so it's, if it's a little bit windy please forgive me but this is the site that you're met with when you come over the hill from the site and this is Balranel Bay tide's out at the minute in fact actually I'm just starting to come back in now and as you can see it pan round and it's absolutely stunning now as you come further round here you'll see the road goes out, out to the right and a 10 minute walk down there takes you to another beach. It's not in a bay like this, it's a, a long stretch of beach where you can basically walk for as ever as you, as long as you want to. But let's go back down here and let's go back down to the side. So there's a cattle grid to get over and there's an access gate to the left hand side. The building that you can see on the right is where the main facilities are, although there are two facilities blocks and in this one you've got toilets, showers, there's reception, and there's also um, a washing up room and there's a camper's kettle and um, microwave for those that are in tents that need anything a bit extra. So as we look round further to the left, you'll see that there's uh, bins, chemical emptying point, there's loads of places for fresh water. And we'll go onto the site and let you have a little bit of a closer look round. So as we cross the main road and we go onto the site, caters really well for tents, motorhomes, and there's even a couple of caravans as well on site. So we'll go through the gate, turn back round, and here we are. So we'll go down here. This is the first facilities block on the right hand side. And reception inside that does sell quite a few things pop maps you name it everything's there there's picnic tables if you want to sit and eat outside and there's a really good motorhome service point as well again fresh water just about everywhere we've got hard standing pitchers and grass pitchers and on the right hand side you'll see where the main, the main electric pitchers are and when we got here there is a sign up a whiteboard that tells you um, which pitch you're on and gives you the, your name on it and there's a little reserve sign on it as well and the electric hookups right at the back and it's 16 amps as you'd probably expect picnic benches all around and at the end you've got the next facilities block and in that one you've also got a drying room so again you've got toilets and showers and another drying room up there but this is a really lovely site. We were made to feel very, very welcome when we arrived yesterday. Staff are very helpful here. Um, nothing's too much trouble for them. And I have to say, if you find yourself on this end of the island and you want a campsite to go and explore some of these lovely beaches, then uh, this is definitely the place to come.